everybody, welcome back to another installment of Treewinds Art Class. Oh yeah, we are going to be adding um, really just the bulk and the you know muscles and whatever skin meat you want to call it onto this uh, wire skeleton here. So we're going to start with the chest area, and what you're going to need is newspaper and masking tape. That's it. So you're going to take your newspaper. First off, just wanted to show you something here. When you're ripping newspaper, there's an actual proper way to do it. If you go against the grain, it's going to be all wonky. So you have your big newspaper like this. You're going to rip it long ways. So take it from the fold. And what you'll do is take your, um, your little guy here and go from about shoulder to shoulder little mark and that's where you're going to rip. That might got a little bit messy, but that's okay. You're going to take one piece. Okay, hold them up. And then, I don't know if you can see it from here, so I'm going to put my finger at the waist. That's going to be the fold. So you're going to fold it like this. Sorry for my finger, didn't really mean to put that into the camera, but there it is. So, hold on, just rip that off. You're just going to kind of fold it up that length all the way up like this. So you have like a little square, you can just fold that over. Okay, and then you're going to do this on the front and the back. You hold it up. I'm going to flip it over so that little flap isn't getting in the way. And I can tape this down too. So I'm going to take this around the back like this. Okay? And then, well, you might want to pre rip some tape. But take tape and do that. See? Okay, now for the next one, here it is, I'm going to hold it up again, it's pretty close, so again, um, fold, so again you just keep folding on the way up. Okay, another little trick too. You can create a pocket in the fold by backtracking like this. So when you do put it on the body, you have a little concave little pocket to shove little paper balls in to, if you want them to have like a beer gut or something like that. I don't know, I'd probably add it to the top, but you can do that too. Okay, so again, up here, and now it's going to just go opposite, and I'm going to tape it right here. Actually, and just like so. Okay, then of course you come up to the top here. And you want to close off the shoulders. Actually, if I'm, um, let's see, I may want to shove some things on the inside to make them a little bit larger up there. So I'm just going to roll up pieces of paper like this. I think I got the, um, the pocket thing backwards that's supposed to go on the front. Well, you could do it on the back too. Okay. 
And so now we're going to just tape the shoulders. Probably have to tape those down too. There's going to be a lot of layering of things. And again, it's not going to look really super neat at first, but it will come together just like everything else in here. Okay, so there you have the torso. Next, we're going to make a little. Um, well, I'm going to rip this kind of in half this way. Maybe? No. Just kidding. Scratch that. I forgot. So you're going to take a piece about this wide here. Maybe like that. And probably one ply. You don't really need it to be super, super thick. But now you're going to um, roll a belt and a scarf. So just about, I'd say that's about like a fingernail length, maybe half inch. I'm just going to roll this. Hmm. There's really no need to use scissors for any of this stuff. So now I'm going to put this around the waist. Okay, and then this next one, I'm going to do it kind of long way. This is going to be the scarf around the neck. This is so that you don't just have like a little stick sticking out of the shoulders, that it tapers up to the head. Just like this. So you go around like that. And you just kind of wrap it. And that'll give it a nice little taper here. 